Hi, in our last video, we have shown you how to configure the ITOP application for an organization. Those are the minimum required steps to make the application functional. Now, after all these, one thing is left to make the application fully operational that is the notification setup. In this video, we will see how to set up email notification for ITOP. To create notification, we have four required steps. First, we have to set up our app so that it can send mail by using our mail server. It will be required a valid email address and password to get authenticated by the server and to send mail. So we have to go to the admin tools configuration. Here at the down below, we can see that email transport method is PHP mail. So we have to comment out this and we have to set some parameter here. I have listed the required parameters. Here the email transport method is SMTP. So this uh, application will send mail uh, through our mail server by the SMTP authentication or SMTP protocol. Email transport SMTP host, this is our mail server host name and this is our email address password. This is the server uh, SMTP port and this is the valid email address which will be authenticated by the mail server. So this is the email address and its password is here. So this is the uh, server configuration. We have to uh, mention here the details and click the apply button here. So successfully recorded. Now if we go to the notification page, here we can see that a special page email test.php is available for testing and troubleshooting your PHP mail configuration. So our we can test that our mail configuration is working or not by clicking here. Okay. So let's send a mail to Raha at the server guru.com and the mail will go from ticket at mail server guru.com let's hit the next button now it says the sending an email to raha the email has been sent check your inbox for the incoming mail so let's check Here we can see that hello the email function is now working fine so our email uh, server configuration at the itop uh, is 100 percent valid so now back to the notification page uh, that was the first step to configure the SNTV authentication details or mail server details now secondly we have to create the events when the notification will generate and the third step is to configure the recipients and finally we have to add the triggers or events to the action or recipients we will create email notification for four events during ticket creation assigned to some agents resolved the issue and closing the ticket for all these four events email will be generated We can design the notification as we want. Like here, when a user request will be placed by a customer, customer will get the notification that the user request is created. When a manager will assign the ticket to an agent, that agent will get the notification too. When the agent will resolve the case, customer and the manager both will get the notification. Finally, if the agent close the request, manager will be notified that the case is closed in this way we have designed our notification if you like your notification strategy can be different so in later video I will show you the full demonstration of the operation that you can see the notification is arriving at the respective uh, concerns inbox so now let's uh, create the notification uh, let's first create the triggers create a new trigger 
on trigger on object creation when we will uh, create an create a request the customer will create a request that will be in object creation description trigger when a request is created on the target class we have to select the user request now let's create let's create another one trigger when request is not this class we have to go to the notification then we have to create a new it will be on entering a state because after creation we will assign the ticket to uh, some agents so the ticket status will be new to assign so uh, it will fall in trigger on entering state category a different that means the ticket is changing its state so it is not newly created it is changing its state so we are selecting here trigger on entering a state here we can write that trigger when a request is assigned it will be user request and state will be assigned now create so in this state or entering a state we can create another one when a request is resolved it will be user request state will be resolved let's create let's create another one when the request will be is closed so it will change its state to closed state user request state will be closed now create so in the notification we have created four triggers for our four events trigger when a request is assigned closed created and resolved now we have to create the action now to create notification we have to have some knowledge of oql or object query language this is just like a sql statement here at the item official site you will get a good understanding of oql here you can see the object query language reference oql syntax uh, statements uh, bookstore database example you can follow these instructions to understand the oql structure here at the item site you will find a notification set up step by step example here it shows the um, language the style how it should be run so to configure our notification i have listed the required oql reference here so i will go through so let's create the first notification create email notification name will be notification to the agent status will be in production from it at state here and it will go to the agent so this is the oql statement select person where id equal to agent and at the subject line we can write that the ticket has been assigned to you if you do not understand here then you can follow the itop hub official documentation here a perfect example is mentioned here you can follow these what i am showing you i have already tested and everything was working fine so what i am writing here is already tested okay so let's fill all the messages 
or so the body the body what will be the message content ticket has been assigned to you okay now first figure is created action is created let's create another one notification to the caller will be in production from ticket to we will add this action to the trigger when the caller is required to be notified so it will be uh, during that ticket resolving time here is an OQL statement I have found it from the forum that this means that the agents manager will be notified CC we will use this during the resolving during the resolving time the caller and the manager both will be notified now let's create another one notification to the caller during PA to be in production from ticket to this caller ID that means when the caller will cre create the ticket he will get notified the ticket is created subject will be the ticket has been created I have arranged this document from the sample example so you can uh, create this document very easily Okay, let's create let's create another one the last one notification to the manager it will be in production from ticket to to notify the manager we have to add this way this will be our OQL and this notification will send during the ticket close so now if we see that our action that these actions are added so now in in our final configuration we have to add the triggers to the action so let's with the first one trigger when a request is assigned during ticket assignment the agent will be notified during request closed trigger action modify manager will be notified notification action during request is created caller will be notified now the last one is when the request is resolved notification to the caller see the notification here we have two action first it will send mail to the caller and second is it will send mail to the 
respective manager. So now we have done creating our notification setup. We have created four triggers and we have attached those triggers to the actions. So we will see the operation during our demonstration. So thank you for being with me. If you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you see that my video making effort is helping you, please share the video so that other people also can get help from this free software. So bye. I will see you on the next video.